So it is Vlogmas Day 13, and I, um, I'm just recording. This is the first thing I recorded today, and it's 12:22. So something that I noticed that's like my biggest, biggest complaint right now is how dry the air is. My everything is suffering, like my skin, my lips, my hair, my face, everything is suffering. It's driving me crazy. So I got my big old cup of water that I'm trying to make sure I'm drinking plenty, plenty of that. Um, so today I just got... One errand that I need to run, so it works out because we're trying to retrain Roxy to sleep back in her own cage. So we're trying to put her in there in small increments of time. Um, she still has her staples. She goes in there with a cone and a full onesie on, so um, she can't mess with her, her incision. Um, she should be getting her staples out soon in the next couple days, probably by like Monday or Tuesday next week. So we'll see what happens. Let me get in a good angle so you guys can see my my Christmas decor and use my head to block the light. Ain't that ain't that something crazy? Is my head that big? Hold up, let's get steady here. Okay, so you see my my little railing right here is wrapped up. I can't even get a steady hand. Then I have this little bow on the door. It's supposed to light up. I don't have no batteries in it. Um, on the fireplace, that thing is supposed to be looped like that, but it fell in the middle of the night. So I just left it down. I think it looks fine like that. The tree and then my reef above the TV. So those are like the bulk, the bulk of my decorations. I mean, I'm done decorating. You was trying to be in an educated fit live? You telling them I put you on a diet too? I sure did. He was too heavy at one point. We cannot have heart disease doggy walking around here. It's not gonna work for me. Oh shit, he followed me. <laughs> Can I help you? Do you need something? I am supposed to be planning um, pretty much all the girls that I hang out with. Can you get from over there? All the girls that I hang out with. Go, go up, go up. And, um, Missouri, like all of my neighbors and stuff. Most of our birthdays are in December. Um, we just had two last week. And I'm supposed to be trying to get everybody together to go to brunch or lunch or dinner or something. Um, we pretty much all agreed that we would do it. We just haven't given any dates. Saturday would probably be the best time, but I'm like 62.59% sure that my hair is not going to be done completely on Saturday. So I don't want to be like, hey guys, let's go to brunch Saturday morning. And I got a halfway um, head of hair that's not done. That's not cool. So, I don't know when we're gonna do this. It would have to be Sunday, which I don't wanna do it on Sunday because Raymond's last class for the semester is on Saturday. So I would prefer to do something with him on Sunday to celebrate the end of his semester. Um, but I, I don't know yet. Next, are you gonna go live on Facebook? You going Huskies going live? What are you gonna tell them when you go live? You're not gonna tell them anything. You're usually the talking maniac. Come on, bro. What you got for me today? Okay. I'll take that. Can I? Can I at least get a high five? You, you missed, but I take it because you, you did two attempts. Good job. <laughs> Raymond has a um, Facebook Live interview that he's doing today. So, I feel like he's been doing lives like crazy, right? You guys seen clips from at least two of his lives so far. 
Um, he's gonna do another one at 7.30 our time. So he has like an uh, a little more than an hour. But apparently I'm some type of like video setup expert in this family for fake. So I'm trying to just make sure his whole lighting situation is good. The problem is, look at our living room. One dog that's always in the way and one dog that has to stay between those gates. But I felt like this was a good, this is a good uh, location. Actually, no, I don't feel like it is. I feel like he should be right there. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna set up the chair right here. Set up the lights and stuff, and um, I'll film some of his lives so you guys can see what it is. And yeah, that's our Wednesday night. Beauty gurus be like, <laughs> they don't put chapstick on their cheeks, and nobody puts deodorant on their videos. Relocated my wife and I out here for about three years now. We're really liking the area. Cost of living is great. The people are great people out here. There's a lot of good opportunities in what we're trying to do for our family legacy. So it's definitely in line with what we're doing. Just a little background about myself. If you're, if you're an expert on a certain topic, why wouldn't you want to share that knowledge with people to put it out there? And that eventually, in turn, will make your value be a lot higher than what your, your employer is saying you're worth, right? So when you start thinking about it in that perspective, you realize that you have so much time in the day, right? You have so much time outside your nine to five. Why don't you use that time more wisely to see how you can increase your value so you, you know that you're worth more than what you're currently being paid. So when I started thinking about that, I was like, what can I do outside my nine to five to say that, hey, I'm worth more than what my employer, employer is paying? Guys, it is a Vlogmas day 14. I never kept track of the date as much as I do now. <laughs> At least I haven't since I was in school, which was, you know, some time ago. So it's Thursday. I'm supposed to be starting my hair today, but that's going to be a little bit later. Um, I just want to wash it, deep condition it, and then I'm going to let it air dry as much as possible overnight. And then I'm going to um, finish whatever needs to be blow dry tomorrow to braid it down so I can do my crochets. But in the meantime, I have to go run some errands. Um, I've been so wrapped up in Roxy stuff that I realized that they don't have any actual dog food. Like, they're running out. So I have to go to PetSmart. I need to go check on some stuff and pick up some stuff that I can't really talk about because y'all know y'all should know y'all should know by now. Christmas is in um, 11 days. Whew, it's coming up fast. So I need to go handle some stuff for that. And um, I'll just bring you guys along with me, sort of. I can't really video too much of that because it's going to give it away. So, yeah, I'll do, I'll do a little bit of that. And um, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I think it's weird that when I come to PetSmart, everybody look at me like I'm crazy because I decide to carry my dog food like this. I decided to get a cart. The cart be in the way. I'm perfectly capable in this bag with as much as I squat and lift I'm 100% capable of carrying my dog food bag if I wasn't then I shouldn't have these dogs right right everybody always like you need help nah I'm good I got this but thanks so I just pre-recorded my fit tip my educated fit tip for healthier 2018 number five but i decided that i wasn't gonna put on no type of makeup because i didn't feel like it so you could see my little my little scar here and guess who's home just in the nick of time what up fife diggy
So let me tell y'all about Roxy because I didn't tell y'all yet. When I came back from my um, shopping adventures, um, I checked on Roxy and she literally like somehow in that small ass cage got that big ass cone off of her head. I don't know how, but she figured it out. So I got her life together, put her back in her little playpen and show y'all her and her little playpen. She back in her little playpen, just destroying the whole living room. And uh, I go downstairs to feed Dexter. And as soon as the sound of that kibble hit Dexter's bowl, who the hell came bolting down the stairs but the dog that just had a very invasive surgery a week ago. Um, she had a little wet spot, but I wasn't sure if it was pee or she actually was licking herself. But when I checked her her um, staples, it looked like she might have been licking herself. So I washed it anyway, just in case. She did, she definitely did. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so then I came upstairs and none of the the gates were moved at all, not even remotely. Um, so I was trying to figure out how the heck she got out and I realized putting her back in as she crawled underneath the table because literally her body is the height of the table and she just got a little crouched down a little bit. That's how she got out. But now, now she, uh, she real mousy. She real mousy. She not really doing much. She just laying down because I think she in pain now. Cause she the way she ran down the stairs, Raymond. You know how she be running down the stairs and she slide across the floor. That's exactly what she did. And I was like, you know what? That's what you get. <laughs> no, it's not time for her to get them yet. But tomorrow she got an appointment to get her staples removed. So I don't know if we gonna see it, but we gonna record the journey there. What you say, Raymond? Yeah, they ate. Oh, they ate like an hour ago. They ate at like 